Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and chain piecing saves a lot of time in the sewing room. But what exactly is chain piecing? Chain piecing is something we do at the sewing machine where we sew pieces together one after another without stopping regardless if we're sewing small blocks together, medium-sized blocks, or full blocks. Anything we sew at a machine can be chain pieced. It won't matter what seam allowance you use, everything can be chain pieced. When you chain piece, you're doing one piece after another. To start your piecing, it's always good if we start on a scrap of fabric. Putting the foot down and sewing a bit on a scrap fabric will assure that the thread is in the proper position and is not being pulled down out of the machine or that it hasn't come out of the needle. And it also gives us a starting point. So you're going to stitch on just a scrap piece of fabric and stitch until you come off one or two stitches. If you have a feature on your machine that lets the foot go up automatically, this is definitely the time to use it. I like to have the needle down position and the foot up position. From here, I'm going to be able to chain piece. I'm going to start with my two pieces of fabric, match up the right sides. I already have the needle down and the fabric is off of the foot and I can start sewing. I'm not going to stitch onto this last piece of fabric because it's already out of the way. And just sew your first seam. When you finish the seam, you don't take off the fabric. We're going to do the next piece. So we need to have one or two stitches in between each piece. That gives us a little bit of space to trim. I can get my next blocks ready and just continue sewing on and coming right off of the fabric. Your machine is going to be able to sew a couple of stitches without fabric. We just don't need to sew a lot, we only need a few. I'm going to continue picking up my fabric, matching my seams, and stitching. So I'm going to end up with this long chain of fabric behind me. And I can sew as many pieces as I want. And it won't matter the size or the seam allowance. Once I come off the fabric, I'm able to do my next row. Having your fabric stacked right at the machine will also help that chain piecing and save time. For myself, I like to have my fabric that is on my left hand side go on the bottom and my stack on my right hand side is going to get flipped over onto the piece. And by having my stacks here, I'm always going to be able to do them right in line. If I need to pin, I can put the pins right here while I'm sitting at the machine. And without cutting that thread behind me, just keep on chain piecing. When you're finished all of your piecing, you can sew on another piece of scrap fabric. And you can see that I really have used that same piece over and over again. You don't need a seam allowance, you are just stitching anywhere on it. On that last scrap of fabric, I'm going to stop with the needle in the middle of that scrap fabric and that gives me a pivoting point. I'm going to be able to pivot my fabric and trim between the layers. Right here at the machine, I can take time and cut in between each layer and as I cut, I can stack all back up into the proper order. The last piece, I'm going to have that starting piece. That starting piece will now become an ending piece. When I go to start my next row of stitching, I already have the starting fabric already in the position that I need. If I need to turn off the machine, we can turn the machine off with the thread right there in that position. And that way when we turn the machine back on, it's already there. And by having fabric always underneath your foot, it will help save wear and tear on the bottom of your foot and on the feed dogs. And when you start, you know you're not going to end up losing the thread by coming out of the needle or going into the bobbin. When I'm ready to sew the next two stacks together, I will divide up my piles so that the bottom one stays on the bottom 
and the top one is going to get flipped over. My fabric's already in here, so I don't have to worry about anything. I'm going to just stitch coming off of this little scrap of fabric by one or two stitches. My foot goes up, my needle stays down, and I can start stitching. If your machine does not have the feature with the needle that stays down and the foot that doesn't raise, we can always do that manually. I can raise my foot, put my needle down, so that that fabric will butt right up against that needle and start sewing. When I come to the end, stitch on one of your scraps of fabric, leaving the needle down, foot up. I have my pivot there and it'll be ready for the next seam. And that's all there is to chain piecing. So sewing one piece after another definitely saves time, it saves thread, and it also helps keep us in order. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.